Asia will become the world's largest energy consumer within the next two decades, using more than half the world's energy supply, with far-reaching consequences for the environment, social equity and global energy markets. Conventional energy supplies in Asia are insufficient to support this pace of growth, says the theme chapter of the Asian Development Bank's annual report, Asian Development Outlook 2013. And policymakers must aggressively explore all options to curb escalating energy demand, tap new energy supplies and promote regional integration of energy markets. There is no uh, single magic bullet to solve these problems. It requires Asian policymakers to be more creative and have a more strong political will to address sensitive issues such as reducing fuel subsidy and enhancing uh, safety of nuclear power. Electricity in Asia is often a middle-class luxury, and while demand grows, vast numbers of the Asia-Pacific's poorest citizens still live without electricity, often relying instead on traditional biomass fuels, bad for the environment and bad for health. Universal access to electricity would deliver major social and economic benefits to the poor and foster inclusive growth, but it would require an investment of about $38 billion a year, five times recent outlays. The report underlines that renewable energy can bridge the energy gap and urban planning, clean transport and fuel switching can radically reduce demand creating an environmentally sustainable way of powering Asia's growing urbanisation.